Welcome. In this video, I would like to address the different levels of instructor ranking at most American colleges and universities. While you may refer to each of your instructors as professor, the term professor has a particular meaning within academia, and I hope by watching this video, you may be able to understand the distinctions among the academic ranks. In this video, I'm going to attempt to use a technology that's new to me, and that's to share my iPad screen in the recording as I handwrite on the iPad. Please let me know in the comments whether the use of the iPad works for you, or if you'd prefer that I write my comments in a Microsoft Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. American universities that grant um, postgraduate degrees, such as a master's degree or a doctoral degree, sometimes make use of graduate teaching assistants. These are students usually pursuing a doctoral degree that offset their living expenses by contributing to the teaching and teaching one or two semesters, um, one or two classes each semester. You may find at universities that have very large lecture um, sections that a professor presents the lecture, but is then supported by a half dozen or eight graduate teaching assistants who offer office hours, tutorial services, and grading for the students. The majority of courses at American colleges and universities are taught by adjunct faculty. These are part-time employees who hold the same academic qualifications as the full-time employees, but either have a full-time day job that allows them to only teach evening or weekend courses, or they are partially retired from their career, employ career employment and are transitioning to full-time retirement. It's important to remember that these adjunct faculty, while they may not have administrative or service commitments to the university, they do have the same academic qualifications as their full-time counterparts and are considered a full contributing part of the faculty. Within the full-time faculty, there are three levels of working professors, assistant, associate, and full professor. Assistant professors are usually young in their um, career work. They will teach primarily first and second year undergraduate courses as they develop their own research skills and learn to contribute to the uh, academic community. Those assistant professors who do well in their first few years of teaching and service may be invited to um, remain within the community and may be promoted to associate professor. The associate professor, also a full-time employee, is expected to expand their commitment to administrative responsibilities, service responsibilities, and personal research activities. While really just a slightly higher rank than assistant, uh, professor, the associate professors are probably also pursuing tenure, which allows them 
greater academic freedom in the classroom without fear of being um, released from employment. The I've observed that many American universities are have reduced the number of tenure appointments that they have within their systems, but the tenure still exists in America, and it's the associate professors that are seeking the tenure so that they um, don't have to worry about long-term employment. After associate professor, and once an employee has been granted tenure, they may be elevated to the full professor rank. Full professors are generally the senior faculty within each department or college within the university and have significant administrative responsibilities beyond their classroom teaching responsibilities. They often lead committees and serve as an interface between the teaching faculty and the full-time administrators of the uh, organization. Within American colleges and universities, beyond the rankings of assistant, associate, professor, uh, some uh, faculty may be identified as a distinguished professor. This is usually a position uh, that's identified because um, a donor to the institution has endowed the chair, allowing, um, basically paying for the salary and research costs of employing that particular professor. Once, an once a professor reaches the stage in life where they wish to retire, they may be honored by their colleagues as an emeritus or emerita for women, emeritus for men, emerita for women. This is a, a particular compliment to the retired professor generally only granted to those who have for many years, usually much uh, more than a decade, have uh, held the rank of full professor. And it comes with some particularly interesting perks at most in institutions. While often no salary is associated with the position, usually uh, professor emeritus or emerita may uh, keep an office, may have full access to the library and other information services of the institution, still receive um, any uh, a parking pass, and just the other little niceties that make it easier to work within an organization. The emeritus is not a rank, but it's an honor granted to a full professor who had served the institution well and has been nominated by former peers to the um, emeritus position. In addition to the official professorate within your institution, you may find your classes being taught by a visiting scholar. This is a professor from another institution that is spending a semester or a year at your institution, broadening their horizons and creating dialogue between the two institutions. I hope you found this video helpful. While the term professor is the, a rank within the faculty, it's generally polite to refer to anyone who is leading a college-level course as professor. Some of faculty will prefer to be identified as doctor because they hold a doctoral degree, and but to call someone doctor or professor is equally polite. The caution I have for you, though, is 
if you have a faculty member who has earned a doctorate other than Juris Doctor for lawyers, it would be inappropriate to address that person as Mr. or Mrs., Ms. or Miss, because generally, once one has earned a doctoral degree, they then take the new uh, title of doctor, and we avoid using the uh, general non-academic terms of address. I hope that you better understand the ranks of the professorate and that you feel more comfortable in addressing your faculty. I wish you the very best of success in all of your academic work. Bye for now.